It's extremely important to understand the users of our technology, their goals, their needs and their ambitions. Projects like that give us an opportunity to understand the pedagogical aspects behind the choice of integrating technology in the classroom. And it has been a very useful experience uh, to be in touch also directly with the teachers and the, get their direct and honest feedback. And uh, it's um, key that uh, the success is not about having the technology and Chromebooks in the classroom, but actually um, the key is in understanding how to benefit from using this technology. We bought into the Chromebooks and the project was all about improving children's writing. Uh, that includes their grammar and their spelling as well as their um, overall text styles and, and written style, we found it very difficult using traditional methods to find a way to allow children to redraft their work. But with the Chromebooks it allowed us to, to redraft over a period of two, three days and really move the text around and make big alterations very quickly. Children uh, really, really enjoy using the Chromebooks. Um, they've uh, I've, I've seen particularly with boys um, writing, that's, that's improved a lot. Um, they are more likely to feel motivated about writing using this tool um, rather than having to go through the physical process. I think editing their work is so much easier and it doesn't look so messy, it looks more uh, professional in, in the way that it's uh, just appearing to them and I think they feel a lot better about it. So yeah, motivation has increased a lot, I think. Y los alumnos eh, se motivan muchísimo más con las herramientas, con los dispositivos, que haciendo una actividad normal con el libro o con, eh, o con el cuaderno. Eh, prestan muchísimo más interés y quieren volver a hacer otra vez el ejercicio. Igual es un ejercicio de gramática eh, normal y corriente, pero, por ejemplo, utilizando el Kahoot, pues ya eh, la motivación es doble. Entonces, pues sí, eso sí hemos notado. En este pilot, I've been training the teachers on how to use Google Apps for Education um, on their Chromebooks, but also showing them new tools and exciting ways to integrate the technology into their teaching and into the learning that's happening in their classrooms. So I showed them ways to go online and use various tools. So for example, um, one tool that we used was how to create a screencast so that they can create a video um, about the concept that they're teaching so that the student will have that video when they go home at night and they will be able to watch that video again and again to support their learning at home. What was unique about this pilot is we had so many different schools from so many different countries and so many different teachers walking in the door from different perspectives. For us I think the added value was the different application we can use in class. We didn't know them uh, we didn't know that we just started with Chromebooks and our material. We didn't know about well, the only application we knew is the one that gave us in the books, in the students' book. But we've seen here that there are quite a few applications we can use in class, like Classroom or Kahoot or Screencastify. And there are some applications that are very good that we can use them with our material. Our own material could be used with these applications. So I think it's have been a great value. It's really exciting to see the teachers come back after gone through the first workshop and it was exciting to see um, some of the progress that they shared, um, to hear about the success that they were having and even some of the challenges that they were overcoming with using technology in the classroom. And a year on what we're seeing is our test results uh, right in level fours which is how we measure success in the UK. Um, we've gone from around about 79% success rate to 92% and likewise in the grammar test that children take we've again gone up by about 20 percent on the pass rate which means we've gone from being a little bit below the national average in the UK to being above the national average in the UK so I think we've seen some real measurable impact there um, 
our next challenge is to replicate that in mathematics, uh, where we've not seen such a dramatic change, but perhaps that's because we've not focused on mathematics quite so much. So.